We haven't had a guitar video for a while. It's been kind of cold in Michigan. The noise of the furnace ruins my recordings, and if I don't have it on, I'm freezing. And today is our first nice day. I'm sitting here eating lunch right now after church, and I thought I would uh, get some Chinese food. Oh, somebody just came on Skype. I would get some Chinese food, and uh, since I was, I will show you how to use chopsticks. You don't need the professional guy. Just the garden variety restaurant type that you get in the carryout work. I had a studio in Royal Oak for a long time and a Thai restaurant right down the street and I was too lazy to wash fork and knife all the time so I, I started using chopsticks. When I was a young guy, my parents made me learn how to do it because we had uh, foreign exchange students from Japan. So I learned how to do it at that point. But it's really not that hard. What you do is you take a, a chopstick with your thumb about there and then you put your ring finger like so. And the idea is to, oh, well, I gotta put them back that way. There we go. To put them where you can control one with your middle and use your thumb and your ring finger to position the others. So you don't have to really think about it too much if you've done it for a while. And you can, oh, here, I'll show you. See? Just like a pro. Actually, there is no such thing as a professional chopstick user. If I want to get the little, uh, well, peppers underneath the piece, a little pepper like that, that's chicken generals, so I can do that. To eat rice, it's not hard. You can even get the little pieces of chicken. So that's not a hard thing to do once you get used to the action or just use a fork. That's how you do it, and you can get food pretty easily. You don't have to spear it. There she blows. So that's very easy and doesn't take long to learn at all. I would refrain from using them in a Chinese restaurant. I just don't want to look like one of those guys that has to be cool. But I guess that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> My doggy, he likes that, uh, that's Samson. He's still around. Samson's 15 now. You don't know what happened. You're not supposed to live that long. That's the oldest Scottish deer hound in the, in the history of the world, I think. So, good thing you can't smell him. Samson and I like the chicken general so and uh, it's got these hot peppers in it, but I don't let him have those. But every once in a while, if I leave my plate out on the table, uh, he'll get up and eat it. He's eaten five or six of these guys all at the same time. And he's lived to tell about it, so maybe that's what's making him live so long. Who knows? Anyway, we're going to have some new videos coming soon, so stay tuned. Let's see if Samson will eat the chopsticks. Look at that. Remarkable. 